Why Vegas? Why Vegas? Why did you decide to go to school out in Vegas? Uh, why do you think? Michael, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a cute little chit chat. Get ready with me. I have a meeting that I need to get ready for, so I decided why not, you know, film a chit chat. Get ready with me. Well, I'm getting ready for this meeting, right? Right. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into this chit chat. Get ready with me. So I have like a list of topics that I want to like touch bases on. I really just wanted to come up here and kind of talk about my 2022 year because although I vlogged a good bit there's still a lot of stuff that y'all don't know about. I've always been a firm believer in like show what you want people to know <laughs> and I've also been a firm believer in everything isn't meant for social media. Yeah there's a lot of things that you know goes on in my life that y'all don't really know about. We're gonna talk about all, all everything. We're gonna talk about everything. So 2022 was a very interesting year for me. I feel like I realized a lot about myself and I also went through a lot if you want me to be like 100%. I know that 2023 is going to be a wonderful year for me. My mental health was not the best in 2022 y'all. Like it was not good at all. I'm about to go in with the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. This is in the color soft black it really started to decline when i went to atlanta and i'll touch bases on that too it was a period of time where i truly felt like i just was not a good person like i would be texting my friends like y'all think i'm a good person like am i a bad person like i really was going through it i don't know what that was about but i just i really just i do know what it was about <laughs> i'm a person who just really thinks a lot about their future you know i just want to be as successful as i can be i want to make my peoples proud my mom my grandma shoot my dogs like i just want to make everybody around me proud and i'm not gonna lie i do feel some pressure just to be successful just due to who i'm around and the people who are in my family you know there's a lot that i kind of have to live up to so there was a period of time where i was constantly when i say constantly i mean constantly thinking about my future and, you know really just stressing about it and the stress i was dealing with was really self-induced because I was literally like thinking too much about my future. Like it was getting to the point where like I was experiencing symptoms like I wasn't able to sleep at night or I would stress so bad that I start sweating in my sleep. Like it was getting really, really bad. As you guys may or may not know, I do go to therapy. I have a therapist. I've been with this therapist for a good year now. It's been a little bit over a year since I decided to reach out to her and you know, get some help. <laughs> therapy is not bad. I don't know why people are so against therapy. It's not bad if you need help go get help i've never understood how people can be so depressed so sad so angry at the world but you don't want to get help what sense does that make then you're just gonna stay like how you want to be like i, I you can't help nobody who don't want to be helped but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day child you know she helped me realize a lot about myself she helped me realize you know baby you bring a lot of this stress on yourself she just opened my eyes up to so much more and i realized like my problems aren't as big as i make them seem like yeah i just learned so much you know on the show that my mom is a part of i'm actually on it pretty frequently and i, I touch bases a little bit on my mental health and things of that nature so you guys will see about all of that in march because that's when the show comes out but i definitely like i had a really bad it was like almost like a breakdown almost like i was really really going through it y'all the way i was going through it i wouldn't wish that on nobody <laughs> it started to affect the people around me you know i was living in atlanta with my mom for like three months essentially the whole summer and you know seeing your child just sad and not really in the best of spirits that of course puts the parent in distress in some ways i'm over here like okay well dang now i feel bad because i'm affecting everybody around me so because everybody around me is affected by my sadness now i'm even more sad at the fact that everybody around me is sad because i'm sad you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like a snowball effect almost. I'm very happy at the fact that I went through what I went through because it kind of molded me into the person that I am today. It's definitely changed my thinking. I just really try to be as positive as I can be now. So yeah, um, that was a big part of my 2022. It just, you know, it was a lot. And there's so much more to that, but I'm not even going to get into that. That's really surface level. Due to me being so sad and, you know, just irritable and not feeling the best, my YouTube consistency was at an all-time low. I think 2022 was the most inconsistent I've ever been. If you want to be 
completely honest. You know, my mom always be like, you need to post more, you need to post more, you need to post more. And I'm like, girl, like, I'm gonna post, but then I never post. And then my excuse for the longest was, well, we live in Virginia, ain't nothing to do. Like, so I can't post, I can't make content. That was such a sorry excuse. You don't have nothing to do, make something to do. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the content. And I just wasn't doing that. Now I am, so we not even gonna talk about that. I just, I wasn't really in it. Like, I wasn't into it, and my heart wasn't in it at the time. Now, my heart is back into it, I'm kind of getting my groove back out there, I don't know. That was my biggest excuse. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do. You don't have nothing to do, make something to do. You don't have nowhere to go, make up somewhere to go. You don't got nowhere to go so you can take pictures, get dressed, take pictures anyways. Like, you have to make content to make content. It just is what it is. I have learned from my inconsistent mistakes. And, you know, I really, I just, like I said, 2022 for me was a year of life lessons. I learned so much life lessons last year. I've learned so much about myself. And I'm very grateful for all the things that I went through last year. It really molded me into the person that I am today. Now, one of my highlights of 2022 was releasing my single, Never Be. I am... <sighs> Wow. I'm just really, really grateful and blessed at all the support I've gotten off of Never Be Alone. I have no EP out, no nothing. Just one single and I've gotten so much love, so much support from y'all. The streams are doing amazing and I could be nothing but grateful. You know, at the time of my release, I literally was not in the best headspace, y'all. Like when I, That was around the time that I was in Atlanta. I had came home for about a week or so because my mom had to go to Africa and while she was in Africa, my our single was set to release July 15th and you know I I legit I wasn't in the best headspace I'm not gonna lie when the single did release I did cry or whatever because you know it's my first single it's like a, it's like it's literally like you're having a baby almost it's my first ever body of work that's being released out to the public and as an artist I'm sensitive about my sugar honey iced tea honey so you know I did cry a little bit because I'm like you know it was happy tears almost but I couldn't really be truly happy because I wasn't happy at the time so that's why now I try to you know really just thank y'all a lot and try to be as happy as I can be about the single because at the time you know I couldn't I wasn't happy at all when I tell y'all that I could not enjoy my single I could not enjoy my release like I would post and then shut my phone off and lay in the bed and just be sad 24 7 I really I legit did not enjoy my release time now that's why I'm so ecstatic when I hear my song on the radio or I'm so ecstatic at the fact that I was nominated for a freaking Urban Bridges Award that's just crazy to me that's so amazing and I just try to be as happy as I can be about it because at the time I really wasn't happy. I always say social media is not real because you guys probably would never know that if you were on that live that day and you can actually still see the live if I'm not mistaken if you go to um, my Instagram page and click on my reels tab you can probably still see the live and you know I was laughing and smiling and whatnot but you don't ever know what somebody is going through. This is why you just need to be nice to people on social media because you don't ever know what somebody is going through. I know it's probably somebody who's watching this video now who got a troll account who's always going on a celebrity's photo or some random person's photo and leaving nasty hateful things you don't ever know what somebody is going through so the fact that i'm child i'm going on a whole tangent <laughs> but more of the story is i released my single and i'm very grateful i am very very grateful it was definitely a highlight another highlight of mine from 2022 was the fact that i performed my first ever festival I performed at the Pride Festival out here um, in Virginia in the 757 and might I say I definitely shut it down. It was it was so surreal like I felt like I was I, when I stepped up on a stage I did black out. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't remember. When I got off the stage I didn't remember nothing I did. I had to watch the stuff back and although I'm not too proud of the performance you can probably not probably you can find a performance somewhere on youtube i'm not gonna tell you what channel because like i said i don't like the performance at all but you know the fact that you know which i'm not tripping though because it's my first ever performance not tripping at all but you know the fact that i you know was able to perform my first festival without even having music out to begin with like truly a blessing a blessing a blessing a blessing y'all it was truly a blessing and it was so much fun you know I was really 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 nervous I did not get to have a sound check at all no sound check because somebody at the festival decided to blow out the sound system yeah they blew out the sound system because they overrided the electrical cords or whatever the case may be so they totally blew out the sound system so I got to the festival for a sound check around what maybe 11, 
10, 11, maybe 12. We were sitting waiting for a good hour because, you know, the stage had to be set up. Then at, somebody decided to blow out the sound system. So I had no sound check. With sound check, you know, you check your vocals. I had dancers, so you know, you make sure your dancers know their marks, they know where to go. I'm happy that I worked my dancers the way I worked them. Um, shout out to Simi and Z, cause y'all are the best. We are definitely going to be shutting it down at this year's Pride Festivals. <laughs> Plural, cause I will be at a whole bunch of Pride Festivals this year. And staying out of state, we claimed it now. G.O.D. got me. Yeah, I'm so glad that I work my dancers the way I work them. And I'm pretty sure they're grateful that I work them too because we shut it down. It wasn't a perfect performance, but it was obvious that, you know, we put some work in. Yeah, we we, we did the daggone thing. I'm not used to people coming up to me asking pictures, okay? I'm not used to that at all. As soon as I got off stage, everybody's asking me for pictures. Everybody's in my face, you know? I went back to the VIP area or whatever, and, you know, everybody's just cheering me on and clapping for me. Like, I'm not used to that type of stuff, so I'm just like, oh my god, like, this is kind of overwhelming. Like, oh my god, like, what is going on? Man, if you watch the vlog, this is literally like me just repeating myself, but if you didn't um that's why i'm kind of just talking when i got off the stage i think he was like the i don't really know what he was i think he helped put it on honestly i'm not sure i can't remember but he was pretty much like you know you got star power this was your first ever show like you have star power if this is you now imagine where you'll be at from like a year from now two years from now you really put in the work from there on out i was like you know what i think this is what i'm meant to do i've always said that you know i know my purpose in life was to make people happy and make a change in the world i always knew that that was my purpose ever since i started youtube that's when i knew that that was my purpose because there were people who will be like your videos help me so much you're the person i go to when i'm feeling sad yada 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 like that's when i knew okay my purpose in life is to help people out and make them happy when i started singing and you know i heard people were telling you know your voice moved me i started crying like it really helps me yada 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 i was like you know what i think this is what i'm supposed to do i feel like this is my calling in a way and when you feel like something is your calling i feel like you should really go and act upon it because you don't ever want to miss out on it or end up doing something else that isn't your calling and now you're not happy in life you know that was a big 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 concert of mine releasing a single and you know just really going hard in the studio writing hella music just really putting in the work to be where i want to be at in life you can't get far in life without working hard and putting in hard work i'm a firm believer in work hard play later if i gotta sacrifice some hours of sleep because i gotta get up early and you know go to the gym and work out real hard i'm gonna do that if i gotta sacrifice some sleep because i gotta stay up late at night and write and record a song i'm gonna do that because i know at the end of the day it's gonna pay off another big accomplishment of mine was finishing my first year of college i'm gonna a lot of y'all i thought about dropping out i did and i almost did take a year off like i said also in the show you guys will see my dilemma and you yeah just wait for the show i definitely had a lot of conflict within myself just with school because i'm gonna be real shot i don't like school at all i honestly don't think it's for me but you know we got to do what we got to do to get that degree yeah i really had a big dilemma with school but i was very very happy that i finished my first year going to college was probably one of the best things that i could have ever did honestly because going to college helped me grow up in a way it helped me really find myself and i met some really really great people out in vegas i made some really really good bonds it's been a minute since i've seen them and the fact that you know we still keep up with each other my homegirl lily y'all may or may not know who she is my homegirl lily we talk all the time child and you know i'm just happy that i was able to go to college and make some good genuine bonds you know there weren't people around me who just wanted to be around me due to who my mother was there weren't people who were around me just to be around me because of who my brother was there weren't people around me because you know they thought i could get them connects people were genuinely hanging out with me just solely off who jay was. I, I really introduce myself as Jalen these days because I feel like Jalen and Jay are two totally different people. So I'm also gonna make this announcement now. I know y'all think we y'all y'all comfortable and whatnot, but I would really prefer if y'all don't call me Jalen only because I like for Jalen and Jay to be two totally different entities. You know, my family knows Jalen, my best friends know Jalen, the people who I went to school with. They know Jalen. And I'm not talking about no college. I'm talking about the people who I went to high school with. They know who Jalen is because they knew who Jalen was before I decided to even come up with J. Michael. People didn't even know who my, my mom was until, you know, maybe about a month in the school. Because she ended up coming out there and, um... She had a show, so I mean, obviously, if you follow me on social media, I'm gonna post, you know, my mama because I'm a proud son or whatever. I mean, you know, that's when people start to, you know, catch on or whatever. So yeah, I'm just really grateful that I was able to meet some really good people, some genuine people. I have genuine bonds, and although I did follow up with a few people, I ain't even gonna touch base on that because 
Vegas is cool and all, but the people, some of the people out there can be weird. Yeah, um, I met some really cool people out there. Um, I know some of y'all are probably watching, so shout out to y'all. I don't think that I would have been able to really grow up and see life, live life, you know, experience things that I know that I would not be able to experience out here in the 757, which is why I really wanted to go to Vegas, because why not? People always ask me all the time, why Vegas? Why Vegas? Why did you decide to go to school out in Vegas? Uh, why do you think? Why else would I go to Vegas to go to school? Because I'm ready to live life. I'm ready to turn up and have fun. Another big accomplishment of mine was performing at the Lovers and Friends Festival. Although I wasn't really like a headliner or like I wasn't really a part of the show. Now I hopped up off stage with my mom and her girls and I sung a little bit a week or whatnot. I'll insert a clip here. It was exhilarating. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't think I've ever performed in front of a crowd that big. I don't know. I just, I love getting on stage and just singing like it's fun i love performing i know what i'm capable of doing and i know once i just lose myself in the music that one time that one time i lose myself in the music it's over it's over for y'all y'all better make some room and get comfortable because i'm here and i'm here to stay honey i'm here to stay and i'm here to slay y'all ain't seen nothing yet i met janelle monet she was so nice i met ricky thompson that was amazing i love his energy like i hang out with ricky thompson on the daily ricky DM me. Let's hang out. Let's go to Nobu. <laughs> like, let's do something because he is really like, it's like a breath of fresh air. You know, you meet some, some celebrities I've met and they have not been the nicest, honey. They have not been the nicest. I have some friends who are watching and they they can attest that they have not been the nicest because I've, like, I've shared my experiences with them. Another thing that it was really, really a highlight was the fact that I moved to Atlanta for the summer. You know, I was vlogging during this time. Um, we have moved out to Vegas, not Vegas. We have moved out to Atlanta because we were filming the new show. It was gonna be, it's going to be on Bravo. Before the first time I came back, I did not like Atlanta due to the experience that I had during verses, y'all know, um, somebody got shot outside the hotel room. Like, we literally watched them get shot. We watched the blood run from their body onto the street. Like, we, we heard the gunshots, so. Didn't like Atlanta before that, but I grew to actually love Atlanta. I love the culture. I love being surrounded by my peoples. Now, what I will say, when I say peoples, I mean my, my community. And what I will say about Atlanta and what y'all got the wrong one is the gays who be trying to act all rude and stuck up. I'm the wrong one you want to do that to. I ne oh, I never forget. I never forget. Second day out in Atlanta. Y'all, I was real cute. I had on my Rick Owens. I had brought them out my first time wearing them. These cute jeans from Minimal. Like, you know, I was flossing. Eyebrows, amazing. Skin, on a thousand. You know, bag is eaten. Like, I was really giving it to the girls. We going to Target. Me, my mom, and my mom's manager. We going to Target because we got to shop for, um, you know, good food shopping. We walking in. Three gay guys. They look me up and down. and Then they start walking all hard. I'm like... Baby, I'm not competing with you. You may be competing with me, but I'm not competing with you. So you might want to dial it down a notch because you're going to wear yourself out competing with yourself, baby. I'm not even paying you no mind. Calm it down. But yeah, my experience this time around in Atlanta was really amazing. I met some really, really cool people. I hung out with Elijah almost every other week. Like, we were together a lot. Especially like that last month before I came back to the 757. I was, I, I was over at her house a lot. I would stay over there, I would sleep over there. She got me hooked on to anime before I, you know, just wasn't feeling it. But I'm actually an anime person now. Like I love anime. I haven't watched it in, it's been a few months since I watched it. But I actually really do like anime. Now one thing that I did start doing is taking my health way seriously. I actually started working out and going to the gym because I wanted to get my endurance up for my pride performance. I found out that I was performing maybe in like January because as soon as I went back to school from winter break I started working out like crazy I started coming up with choreo for my prior performance I choreograph all my stuff if you guys don't know but I started coming up with choreo for my prior performance because you know I just wanted everything to be perfect and I wanted to really you know come out the gates clean because you know folks these days they don't dance on stage for real so let the dancers do all the work and I'm just not gonna let that happen baby I, I first of all I love to dance I think it's fun and it's a gift that I have to dance and it's also a gift of mine to 
choreograph, which I didn't know that I can even do until I started to do it. I started taking my health way serious. It started with just, you know, really getting my endurance up for my private performance, but it wasn't until I went to a doctor's appointment and the doctor, she was pretty much just telling me I needed to change my lifestyle. I needed to change my diet because I touched bases on this not too long ago. My diet is horrible and because it's so horrible, I was having an overgrowth of yeast in my stomach and my gut, which was causing me to not be regular. It was causing me to bloat a lot. And I was noticed I was bloating, but I was like, okay, I don't really know what's going on. Let me just keep drinking water. And the more water I drank, I just, it wasn't canceling out like I thought it would cancel out. So when she told me that, it made sense. I'm like, oh my God, like that makes so much sense as to why I'm so bloated. It makes so much sense as to why I just feel so sluggish. You know, I didn't feel good. And when you don't feel good on the inside, you just don't feel good on the outside. After that doctor's appointment, I started taking my health way way more serious. I started really going to the gym, working out, lifting, running on the treadmill. I didn't start drinking more and more water maybe until like the last two months of December. Only because that's when I really started to really lock in with the whole health thing and really just trying to be healthy. Because I don't want my life to be cut short, especially at this young age, just because I'm not healthy, because I'm not eating right, because I'm not drinking enough water, because I'm not taking the vitamins and getting the nutrients that I need. So I really started to lock in and try to become a healthier person. Person. The doctor scared me. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm now scared to not do what's right for my body. And that just is what it is. I'm scared because I don't want diabetes. I don't want all those health complications because I'm not being a healthier me. You know? So I really, especially like my New Year resolution was to really lock in on this health stuff. I'm still trying to, you know get my diet together, stop eating out as much as I do. But you know, it's baby steps. You're not gonna accomplish everything you wanna accomplish overnight. And especially if I'm really gonna try to, you know, do the singing thing, I need to be in the best shape of my ability. You know, I practice all the time when it comes to my craft. You know, I write a lot. I'm trying to get more into producing. I actually, it probably won't be on the EP. No, not probably, it's not gonna be on the EP. But I actually produced the track. I wrote to it and everything, and I sent it to my producer, and he was like, yo, this is fire. It's fire, because my producer is dope. His work does not sound like any other producers that I've heard so far, especially these new school producers. His work sounds so much different. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to dab just my eyebrows just a little bit because they're a tad bit too dark for my liking. And I find that when you do this, they can kind of get some of that pencil off. That's much, much better, child. They were a bit too dark. And it makes them look just a bit more natural. It's almost as if you're blending them in with your eyebrows. Much better. <laughs> much, much, much better. I feel like my fashion sense was one of the big things that really increased in 2022. I started taking a bit more risk with my fashion, being a little more out there. I've always been in love with fashion. I've always loved fashion. Ask anybody around me, I've been a person who just loved fashion forever. Like, I'm talking about in middle school, I had every color pair of jeans, honey. I can ma I can match with anything when I was in when I was in elementary school. In middle school, I had all the Jordans. Like, I was known in school, I've been known as the person who could dress. That just that, that was my thing in high school and in college, you know, I was able to really experiment because my thing was, you know, I'm across the country. I'm grown in a sense. Honey, I'm about to start doing what I want. <laughs> so I started experimenting. I started wearing crop tops and I was always a carry a bag kind of guy. I started carrying bags literally as soon as I came out the glass closet. I just, you know, really started to experiment and take risk with my clothing, you know. So wearing heel Chelsea boots and, you know, wearing crop tops and just wearing more revealing clothes, honey. Like I just really started to experiment more with with fashion and I can say that it just definitely paid off. I would describe my fashion sense as like luxury streetwear. You know, I love that streetwear-esque in fashion, but I have to, have to, have to mix in a little bit of luxury. So whether it's like a designer bag or some designer shoes or a shoe, even a pair of shades or a belt. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fit it in somewhere. Being the niggas cause it's so hot, you know, I was like, shoot, I might as well start wearing crop tops cause I felt like I was freaking melting out of my skin. 
I felt like every day when I'm walking to class, no, nah, not I felt, every day when I was walking to class, I would be sweating my shirt out. So I'm like, absolutely not, baby. Give me the crop tops. Where they at? So I went to Forever 21. First of all, before I even went out there, I actually started shopping for crop tops because I was like, you know what? New area, new state, new me. I'm about to just start experimenting. And I started wearing them and I fell in love. Like, I love me a good belly shirt. I love me a good belly shirt and I love me a good baby tee. Those two shirts in the summer, oh, forget about it. It's over. And especially ever since I got my piercings, like my piercings are definitely a big highlight too. I got my nipple piercings in 2021, but my belly piercing, I got that in 2022. Literally like a month before I left Vegas, I moved out and left in May. And that was kind of like a in, in a moment kind of thing. Like I was literally sitting down. I was talking to my homegirl. I was like, you know what? I want to get my belly pierced. Can we go? And we, uh, we went. And I got my belly pierced and I was so scared. Like, I'm so mad that they don't let you record in piercing places, which is weird because I'll be watching people's YouTube videos and they showing up and recording. Maybe it's just certain states, certain shops have different rules and laws and regulations and things of that nature. I'm about to go on with some set spread. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow, y'all. And this will have your skin looking amazing. My piercings was definitely a big, like, oh my god. Because I, I don't know, I just love piercings. I've always wanted my nipple piercings. Like, I've always told myself, when I go to college, one thing you're, like, you have to do, no if, ands, or buts. I don't care if you're scared. I don't care if you want to chicken out. You got to get your nipples pierced. And I was going to get them before I left to go to college, but I was so scared. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. Because you have to be, like, 18 to, like, be able to, like, get piercings by yourself and whatnot. And I was not about to ask my mom to get nipple piercings. First of all, she was very upset when I got them. She was like, you got your nipples pierced? I was like, yeah, girl. And I didn't even tell her, like, she found it on Instagram. And that was the, she was really upset because I didn't tell her. I'm going to finish my mug up off camera, do my hair and everything like that. And then we are going to get into the end results. So give me like a little second. All right, y'all. So your boy is all mugged up or whatever. Get my hair for my mascara because I did put on some mascara. I use the Better Than Sex Mascara. And for my lips, I use the NARS Lip Gloss. I know I love this lip gloss right here. This Infinity Chef's Kiss. Yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little chit chat. Get ready with me. Y'all loved my last one, so I decided why not come up and get another one? Like, hello. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my socials, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Twitter. All that jazz, that Jane Michael. Y'all done the deal. If you see me anywhere else, 9 out of 10, it's not me. So don't fall for it. Whew. Until the next video. Peace, y'all.